Reserve time. <gasps> Radiance pick. Hello, hello guys! Welcome to the challenge hosted by GST, sponsored by Corsair, Western Digital, and Dota Talk for being the awesome admins that they are. I'm your host, Lysander Zanora, casting on behalf of Beyond the Summit here and BG Gaming versus Maneski. Maneski forgot their game attacks, but it's okay. We know who they are. It's 1 to 1 now. It's called BG Gaming. I would say in game 2, Threw the game a little bit by sitting too much on their butt. It became a little bit too. It became very sleepy for us. It, it was very long, dragged out. It was boring because they didn't go for much kind of objectives. They didn't go for kills, but Maneski took it over, carried with the Weaver, with their life stealer, and they just crushed Vici and well, some resounding kills. And well, Vici, not the best execution go. as well. But hey, in game three, I will not be alone. I will be joined by Rickmon. Uh, we did cast very long ago. It's a little bit too hard for me to remember. Welcome back to the broadcast, <laughs> man. Reserve time. Yeah, I think we casted God. It must have been a couple months ago. But it's good to be back, Lysander. How you doing? Yep, I'm doing good. And this time, because there's the Skype, I have to be careful with my mic volume. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the chat to actually just yell at me and say, "Oh, it's too soft. I can't hear you, Lysander," and whatnot. So I'm just gonna be monitoring the value, um, the volumes from here, and wait for the stream to catch up. But meanwhile, you can All actually right. talk about the draft or. You know, how yeah. how's the Rattlesnakes game, Myth game, you know? Uh, so the first game was pretty good. Uh, Myth Trust were, were in it for a while. They had an alchemist that was farming well. The second game, Rattlesnake completely rolled them. Uh, Myth Trust tried to do something new, and they're just a kind of team that I think usually shouldn't be doing anything new. Uh, but this draft's kind of cool. So VG, I had Mineski. I saw the game scores. It seemed like pretty interesting games, but I didn't actually see the games themselves. But this draft already pretty strong from both teams, I feel. VG with that OD that's so incredibly strong. Uh, I like watching CTY on OD because he never goes mechanism. He's like, I don't care about defense. He always just goes for staff and just immediately into the, the Scythe of Vice. But Razor's kind of a cool pick. Uh, we used to see Razor only against Eight Lifestealer, but I actually think Razor's pretty cool against OD also. That's something that Myth Trust did oh, fairly effectively against Rattlesnake as well. You take this Razor and you just lane him right up against the OD, and Static is Bam. still going to be very effective to get some damage back. Because the usual problem is you have no damage and the OD has a million damage, but Static Link can tip that the other way. Yep, that's what I said in the previous draft as well, when uh, Mineski actually drafted uh, third pick Razor. Uh, this time mm. they go for Ten second pick here, in fear of it being banned out. And Vici, um, their, their OD got shut down for quite a bit, but in the end he still managed to kill the Razor four times, which is, I, which is what I said, Vici came in, they had a great start, despite the Reserve Razor nine. supposed counter pick, they had their great... Oh wait, let me see, the, my mic is messed up. Is it? No. Right, so anyway, the um, OD managed to kill, with, with some help of course, he managed to kill the Razor four times in total. The Gyrocopter, he did have a good start, he was free farming bottom. The tri the tri lane or the dual lane for... The tri lane, yeah, the tri lane against Windrunner for mm -hmm. Maneski. Maneski had a tri lane and Windrunner was doing a pretty good job. Nearly got a solo kill on the Weaver as well. And wow. the Life Stealer was just forced into the jungle. So things looked really bad, but VG, they just didn't they didn't do anything. They just sat around for 15 minutes. They yeah. just wandered around and they just died because the, the heroes got farmed up. Life Stealer, his Midas kicked up and before he knew it, he was really fat. Dyer's pick. Yeah, VG, um, this is something that they're going to have to figure out to become a top tier team. They don't know how to end games, straight up. Um, they let games dither in the mid game. If they have a big lead, they tend to want to just sit on it and get a bigger lead before they try to push in. And a lot of times it comes back to bite them. I've seen it twice in the last like week. Uh, in ECL against IG, they ended up winning the game, but it lasted 25 minutes longer than it needed to because they just wouldn't push a big mid game advantage. And then a couple days ago in the AMD Premier League, I can't remember who they were facing, but they also just completely gave away. They took ages to close out a game that they that they could have finished. So sooner or later, it was going to bite them in the butt. And I think, as you said, that's that's probably what happened in game two. Yep, and they they were a very strong team when they first debuted. They took out LGD China in resounding fashion. They took him out 2-0. No questions asked, and suddenly, all of a sudden, I don't know what they're doing. In game one, they were good. They crushed Maneski. 
uh, with, uh, with an alchemist. Radiant was it an alchemist? Pit. Yeah, they crushed Mineski with an alchemist. Mineski, uh, despite making the mistake of giving an alchemist free farm, VG gaming the carry player 2 2, he, did, he yeah. didn't go for max greed. He went for max acid spray or a max stun on a. Mm. And uh, on a pick. on a lane where he had no opponent, so I was very Wait. very weird with that because he didn't go for yeah. any points in Grievous Greed. He went for the Battle Fury, and Battle Fury rush. He got it by 11, 15 minutes, I think. Eleven minutes, yeah, eleven fifteen minutes. And afterwards, he just farmed there. But again, again, Mineski just threw a little bit too much. They went, they took Radiant. bad fights. <laughs> Puck, uh, J played by Puck. Oh no, Puck played by J. Yeah, he Dyer's bought a Dagger pick. Five and pulled the Demon. So and. Um, BG. Did you say that, uh, sorry, did you say that Tutu was on the Alchemist? Yep. Huh, that's very interesting, because he's typically their, their offlane player. What was what was FY playing in that game? FY was playing Weaver? Was it Weaver? No, wait, was it? Yeah, they played Radiant a Tricol, BG was playing very green. Uh, they played a Tricol, they had a Weaver, Dyer's Dragon Knight, big. Middle, and an yeah. Alchemist. Tutu. Yeah, Tutu's been playing the hard carry recently. He played the previous game's hard carry as well. And huh. Yeah, he played the hard carry. I guess they're still, they're probably still experimenting because I know the the ZSMJ FY switch was not intended to be permanent. It was we're gonna play around with different lineups. Yeah, ZSMJ, he is the farmiest support of the year. He gets farmed <laughs> regardless of whatever. He does. <laughs> he totally does. Zero eight on Vengeful Spirit, and yet he affords a four staff, a <laughs> arcane boots, drums. How does he do it? I don't know. At the end of the game, yeah. and his team lost. That's the thing. Right. His team lost, and his items don't look really shabby at all. And we're gonna jump into the game because we didn't really talk much about the draft at all. Because VG Gaming, they drafted, they dropped a very similar Place draft. No, well, I would say VG dropped a similar draft. Uh, Mineski actually drafted Alchemist. They drafted Lestrag. They drafted <laughs> Assassin. So Lestrag, Assassin, Alchemist, very deadly tri lane. And we might see them actually forfeit a lane here. Enigma goes into the jungle. Maybe go into the off lane. Deny some creeps. But I think just did just leave. It alone. Razor going gold mid yeah. again. And I see Bounty Hunter as well as Doom. So a little bit of gold strat coming out here. Yeah, this is. I think both teams going with a somewhat greedy lineup, but VG's definitely more greedy. I guess I, I can't remember which Mineski person is which, so I'm going to introduce VG if it's cool. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. We've I got 2 2. Off. On the uh, so Tutu's on the Outworld Devourer. This is. Uh, usually we see CTY on this Outworld Devourer, so this yeah. is an interesting it's choice. Dual mid, I think. The, yeah. yeah, I think almost certainly. That'll be Fenrir on the Shadow Demon supporting CTY on the Konka. So that's very, very strong. That's a difficult duo mid to actually deal with simply because of the kill potential. And then that will put ZSMJ uh, as a support or maybe even probably jungling Doom mostly and then supporting OD in the top. And FY will be taking up the off lane as Bounty Hunters. So, you know, new roles for everybody's kind of. Yeah, it... Very interesting and creative laning coming up from VG Gaming, but we're gonna talk about that later on. We will be going on to the side of Maneski here, Razor. Oh no, I keep calling them Razor because it's their sponsor, but it's gonna be Jay playing on the Enigma, and I assure you guys he will not be going for Dagon 5. And it'll be Jesse Vash on the Razor once again, and jo Joven, Joven on the Alchemist, and Owa on the Nyx Assassin, played a great Earthshaker in game one, and G gonna be on the Lust Strike. So, and away we all of them go. gonna be. There's gonna be standard lanes here for well, that's gonna be a free invis rune here for. It's gonna be a free invis rune for bounty hunter. That's gonna be helping him a lot. Gonna be blocking up the camps. Gonna be good. That's for one thing, and we'll be yeah. getting level two. He can stand within the, within the creep wave, so that'll help him get level two. And this is the warding I like in the middle lane here. Ward up on the high ground. Ward up on the high ground. Give that online yeah. the up, up, uphill vision. And Razor, he expected an OD. He expected, he expected wrong, and now he's gonna have a lot of trouble. Yeah. This Invisirune first for Bounty Hunter is basically a clarity, or it's it's almost two clarities because it saves him having to cast a uh, Shadow Walk two-ish times when he's level one. So that's nice because Bounty Hunter actually has a little bit of difficulty. If he does this sort of jungle disruption approach early on, he has to keep cycling that Shadow Walk, especially if he's trying to steal last hits. So he runs out of mana pretty quickly. So FY, I mean, it's just a little bit of reduced pressure for him by getting that Invisirune. And one thing I'm going to be watching is definitely this middle lane because Jesse Vosh is not going to have the easiest time here. And isn't he usually, isn't Jesse Vosh usually in the off lane with things like Darkseer? So this is just interesting setups for players and lanes for everybody. Yeah, but Je Jesse Vosh played the Razor. It, it could be because okay. he's the only one who could play the Razor. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, 
It's, it's possible that there, there, there are a lot of flexible teams here in Southeast Asia. They do rotate around with MUFC that day. Uh, they, they did run Mushi. Oh, no, M, oh no, no, not Winter. They ran him middle as the Queen of Pain. So Yeah, I remember that. That was yeah. that was good. It was like a blast from the past. Yeah, so Winter just swapping up the roles a little bit. And of course, the most famous of all uh, famous of all troll teams will be Zenith. Zenith doing that, <laughs> doing that yes. perpetual swapping here and out. They always do that kind of thing, and we see a jungle do. doom, so they are really playing very greedy. Vici going for the gold strat, I would say, is playing extremely greedy. Dual mate and solo top yeah. and bottom. It's it, I would say that Mineski are in the position, even if you have an alchemist who obviously gets very uh, powerful later on, they need to punish Vici's choices. It's actually, Jesse Bosch gets picked off in the middle by that, uh, that combination of the Shadow Demon oh, and Klinka. Just, yeah. Doom actually didn't... I don't think he did anything there. Yeah, he did almost nothing. It was just enough to have the Soul Catcher and the Torrent. Okay, so this is the second time I missed Flow's Blood. <sighs> <laughs> because I was That's just a... taking a look at Enigma here. The chat's gonna call me Toby again. But, uh, Enigma... <laughs> Actually, this this is very clever from BG because they know Enigma has no chance whatsoever even if he decides to change his mind, go up top and try and deal with this OD. He, he doesn't he doesn't yeah. function too well. He works better as no a jungler. And because of that last pick Enigma, Vichy knows like, hey, we can just leave our OD up top, he will have free farm. Granted, yeah, he will lose the opportunity to dominate someone in the middle lane, but still, we have yeah. free farm for that guy, he'll get us some core items, and I might we might see a um, mechanism for him this time. Not so sure about that. Doom could pick up that item as well. He might go for a Shadow Blade first for aggressive purposes, yeah. uh, but CTY, as well as Fenrir, they are going to be dominating mid. Two heroes yeah, to shut down. Yeah, in a lot of trouble bottom, by the way. He's yep. uh, dusted up. No split of misses. Huh? Split misses split he just gives a Jinada just for good measure to the next assassin. So a little bit of a screw up here from G. But not too big. They, they won't be losing any sleep over that, but still. Oh, another stun going to come out here, and now he will blow himself up. Not gonna happen, yeah. <laughs> I think it definitely will be mech this time for Tutu. Again, CTY doesn't like the mech, but uh, Tutu here is gonna definitely be taking it. He wouldn't have made Tranquil Boots if he wasn't going mechanism, so... Uh, I think that's smart. I think that's the right choice. And the thing about Mineski's lineup, what I don't like about Mineski's lineup here is they have very few ways to actually generate pressure onto VG. And whenever you're going up against a team that has an incredibly greedy strategy, you have to try to configure yourself to punish it. And this Enigma is not the way, because I mean, you meant as you mentioned, Lysander, he can't really go into the lane against OD. The first time he gets Astral imprisoned, he's already going to fall to barely enough or not even enough mana for demonic conversion. And because the Enigma can't come here, it's an easy, easy tower kill, which Tutu secures the last hit on. Yep. And you say that you say that the Doom. I won't, I won't say you said the Doom, but I, I don't think that Doom should be roaming as much. He should be taking the time, jungle up a little bit, give the OD more farm and EXP. I'm not so sure why. He, yeah, he's just using the skeletons for the push yeah. and everything. But he should be spending this time to farm because this is like the calm before the storm. Maneski, even though we we do say a little bit of their lanes, how weak they are and whatnot, Razor, Razor is actually going up top because it's a lot easier for him <laughs> instead of the middle lane. But the thing is, it's calm before the storm. Before the Enigma right. gets his black hole, his blink, and before he gets, maybe he goes for mech, I think he'll go for mech. But before he gets up his black hole, he'll have the aggression. The next assassin with the vendetta, he really wants to get some farm up. And if he doesn't, he sits on this kind of early aggression, he spends too much time there splitting. Ooh. FY. Uh -oh. this Trouble time, again for him dies. in the bottom. This time he dies. Yeah. No such luck with the miss split earth this time. That was a very easy pick up. And they're going to try to trade the tower. I think, yeah, they should be able to get this tower. Do they have a siege creep on the next? No, but they should still be able to do it just yeah. with the Enigma alone. That's a good pick up for Mineski. I still don't really think they're in that fantastic shape against VG's lineup, but it's important to at least get this tower. Wow, FY, jumping right in there. Yeah, it's nearly going down there. Gets hit by the Malefist, though. But he's going to be okay unless they plop a the sentry in his face. Uh, yeah, they out of it. So he, he has, he's probably checked all of that. He wants to go for deny. Is he gonna go for it? I don't think this is a good. I he gets it. Wow. And again, no reveal. So what a sick. player. That was some huge risk gaming. <laughs> now he's just gonna hit. The... He could actually get this maybe. Nah, I don't think no. so. Oh, well, he had three points in shuriken toss. So maybe. Three. Yeah. Uh, if somebody TPs, he pinged because he thought that somebody would TP over, but nobody felt like it. Nobody had the mana. I mean, I, I think this is... Mineski have opened up the map a little bit, which is very important. 
They did put that Razor up against the OD. I feel like that's the matchup they wanted, and the Konka pick is really what threw a loop in that, because then CTY ends up mid. Your Razor doesn't really want to rotate to off lane when he has the mid. You don't want to just give up the mid, so... It, Mineski didn't get the lanes that they quite wanted, I think, and they were lacked tools to really punish the Bounty Hunter early. And this is going to cause problems, because FY is going to hit level 6 very quickly for a 1 versus 3 Bounty Hunter. He has 6 on probably the next creep wave that actually comes through this pull. And with the track goal, it will help Snowball a lot. Doombringer with items. Doombringer, the problem with Doombringer is like, he... He doesn't get that. He's really, really, really weak early on, and once he gets up those items, he he does scale very, very well. And if at early on he is very weak because he has no armor, he takes a lot of damage from jungle creeps. He doesn't hit the hardest as well, and he has mana problems. He has all sorts of problems. But once he gets up that farm, once he gets the momentum going, he has that maybe arcane boots. I don't think he's going for arcane boots. If you get the tranquils, get the phase boots or shadow blade, once he gets up some momentum, he becomes very, very powerful uh, in the game and. The thing is, this early game, you screw it up for him, Doom has a hard time coming back. He's not those kind he of does. heroes that actually uh, works well. Like Alchemist, you die a few times, no problem, I've got Grievous Green. But now here comes FY, they throw a boat, they're not gonna get a kill here. But Bounty Hunter middle lane. Tranquil yeah, boots for Jay. Not quite on point with the boat, but if it had landed, that would have been track kill. So just the pressure is quite useful. And 2-2, uh, he's not going to go into the mechanism. I believe he's about to disassemble the Tranquils, take the Ring of Health, and turn it into a Force Staff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, ZSMJ is building Mech Doom. This is something that we see, Doctor especially Doom. when he's in this sort of support role. Uh, yeah. He'll go the Mech. OD doesn't have to go Mech, he can just go directly into his full oh, stack. Oh, Radiant's career has been killed. Wow, oh, Bounty Hunter. a nice pickup for This FY. guy, he has been making the plays, man, thus far. It didn't have anything on it, but that's still a lot of gold. And again, the greedy team is the one that wants that huge gold infusion for all their characters. And that actually puts CSMJ, he's only uh, 200. He's one jungle camp away from finishing his uh, his mechanism. Yep, and now he's going to mess with the Alchemist again. going to track him up and just rack him down. Throw a Shuriken just for good measure because he has a regen rune. He can just afford to just troll around a little bit. So FY, as a bounty hunter, as an offlane bounty hunter myself sometimes, I, I feel that, I feel his comfort, you know. You just have all that creep wave just for you, a lot of EXP. They want to go for some kills, but they have a track here. And now yeah. Doom, he's in the neighborhood. He wants that, here we he's go. Doom. And Pentagram is up, and now he can not throw out the stun. He will stun himself. You want to go away from him, you do not want to stun himself. You try to run close, trying to hug them. He stuns himself, <laughs> and he will go down. That's a track kill, kill secure here by 2-2. Well, that was a free kill. Black hole in the mid. Yeah, black hole in the middle, they CTY running away. He go throw. He's gonna throw a boat. Is he gonna get away? The boat might actually save him. No, he does not. Laser. No, I mean the lightning will bring him down. So, unfortunately for him, he will go down for black hole for just a singular target. It's great, but it's not the best. Losing the alchemist was a bigger blow. I agree. It's more critical to Mineski's strategy that uh, alchemist not die than it is to VG that Konka not die. And that was a track kill as well. And that doom is never going to stop being annoying for alchemist because BKB doesn't get you there, right? So. If he just puts Doom on you after you concoction, you're gonna stun yourself every time. Yeah, and it still um and it still damages you through BKB. That's like an extra insult to injury. So Doom is just one of the most powerful single target uh, abilities ever. And Doctor Doom, pretty tough stuff. Because mechanism is actually surprisingly good on Doombringer because he gives him the much needed armor. If you look at it right now, yeah. he's a plus eight. Uh, he he has munched on that Vulcan, so he has the toughness plus three, and this kind of greed drafts by VG Gaming actually work out very very well because of the Bounty Hunter. Radiant the Bounty yeah. Hunter, it just helps attack. you snowball your greediness. You know, Radiant yes, the, the normal the excuse farm. for this kind of drafts is being classed as bad. Is yeah, you're too greedy. You're not gonna get the farm. But if you do get the farm because of the Bounty Hunter, you become right. really powerful really fast. It's it's a similar thing to the Alchemist. Normally you expect an Alchemist to come online. Say you give him free farm, he comes to line around 25, 30. Oops, but CSMJ. Track. A little oh. bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. He doesn't have mech yet. Oh, this could be a mistake. But he's so tanky with the with the um, with the heal from the Scorched Earth. He's so heavy, he's so strong, and now they go banish off. Who is it? It's banished. Oh, they banished Alchemist and again the Doom. Oh no. He's gonna stun himself. This is oh well the ultimate misses there. A little bit of mystic mistake on 2-2, but he stuns himself, and now Doombring is going to chop in, and they're going to savage him in. Are they going to savage him in? Uh, nope, not going to savage it. Track kill, Shuriken, dead. And that's a track kill, and now Owa, out of mana, going to be running for his life. He does have the stick charges, no vendetta, so he will not be getting out of this. They're just going to let him up, alive for a while now. Even stopping for a little moment there, just to devour a creep, and up to the face. Two track kills in favor of VG. Look at the gold graph, guys! It is... 4.5k, nearly 5,000 in favor of them, and it's not looking good for Maneski fans out of the way. 
all across the world, and Jesse yeah. Bosch still stuck at a bracer. Before those chases, I wanted to... And also, CTY, God, what a great mid lane player this is. 74 for 14 is his farm in this mid lane. He has 7 kills uh, CS per minute, which is just crazy to me, especially with one death. It, so, I did want to mention, you, you were talking about the greedy lineup and how... Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, when you pick a greedy lineup like this, it's not going to lose you the game in and of itself. It loses you the game if the opponents punish you very early. And with something like Doom and oh, Bounty Hunter... Enigma. Careful, oh, and a false staff here. Very good false staff. They're going to tag on Enigma. Enigma might turn around. No black hole for him. That's going to be a trap kill. Again, the Bounty Hunter will get, clip him at the edge of that, but no, two, two in a little bit of trouble. Will go for the self vanish Will he go? No, the Isolons will pick him off. They go for the Camel or the Lestrag, as you call it. And now they're going to be dusting up the Bounty Hunter. Are they going to go for anything else? Is there a follow up? There is a Razor coming in, but he gets hit by that push and he runs into the Rosh Pit. And now again, Alchemist. No, he throws it on Illusions. Very happy for that. Smart. But is he in trouble there. Is there going to be a Blind Torrent? There track is what they need. Why aren't they tracking? That's a serious error by FY there. They absolutely had to just use the track, and he didn't use Facebook's either. I don't know why he felt he needed to maintain Shadow Walk. They could have at least gotten some movement speed. They even just the movement speed could have gotten them the tower hit there. Well, it's okay. It's not a, it's not a huge deal. They did get the Enigma. They lost the OD. That's one thing they have to watch out for. The OD is very vulnerable to Nick's assassin at every stage of the game, especially oh, if Nick starts Jesse, leveling up. Oh, Jesse. 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 Middle <laughs> Jesse. Um... He's dead, probably. So dead. Uh, he doesn't want it to go solo. Oh, he breaks out of Shadow Wall. Big mistake from FY. I think he could have gone for it. Honestly, he, he could have gone for it. I, I completely agree with you. He should have just broken in oh, and just tossed the shurikens. Okay, okay, hit, stun. Nice timing. Wow, this guy, he's gonna go for the dust. Is that gonna be purge up here in Oba? Is there a blink dagger? No blink dagger. So Enigma, he tries to roll on in with his tranquils. Not gonna get there. And Nick Sassin will get a purge for his troubles. But Doombringer, like I said, man, Zuzumati, you put him on a support, no problem. He'll just farm him, farm, farm. And he'll get up all those items. Mechanism on a support tomb is absolutely fine. This guy, he's a very talented player. Say what you want, guys. He is good. Oh, Banish in the mid. It's just Jay. They might get Fenrir. That was a really nice Malefice. Yeah, Good disruption. He's still dead though. Yeah. <laughs> four stuff. He forced. He forced stuff. The shadow. He tried to force stuff. Shadow and forced an Eidolon instead. Dying. But now <laughs> this is gonna be a counter push on the way. And there's a lot of Eidolon go because one off it kills an Eidolon immediately because of that bonus damage. Uh, yeah, it does. It does extra to summons. So that you're completely right. That's very effective. Here comes FY. One thing. Wow, offensive force staff. They could probably get Enigma. Don't get black hole. Oh no, they're gonna blow him up right away. Track go. Mechanism. Go to catch. Only the Zoombringer though. Off to the face. FY will get a killing spree. The ship does come in. The Razor. He tries to go for something, but he gets doomed up. Is he gonna run away in time? He has drums though. He runs really fast. That blind torrent. It does not hit. So that would be a waste to do, but here comes the Nyx Assassin. Buyback here from the Enigma. Not so sure what he wants to achieve here. Two two is a little bit of trouble, but so is Owa. And they will be starting him up. Squash up. Last of you flies out. That strike drops really low. Metal will be setting that up. Lightning Storm will bring him down. And now the Torrent set up with the Torrent with the Punker. And they're gonna drag away with that base damage. And again, FY throws out the stun, throws out the Shuriken as well. And well not stun, he's not a hit. And Enigma, he tries to go in there, he could get killed as well. He has to be careful. Yes, the mechanisms. Oh, Purge on Enig Enigma. Enigma could go down here. And FY, he's looking for it. This guy, he's looking for a new skill. Is he gonna it's so close, though. Out here? Oh, FY takes up a big, big gun. Enigma, gonna be a track shuriken. One more right click. Oh, one more right click. He does get away in time. He pops the stick charges. There is no poison. Nah, there's gonna be poison charge. Not enough to kill him there. My kingdom for Zeus. But FY, we'll survive there. <laughs> Yeah, time. that was very aggressive from VG. I felt that they'd be punished a little more heavily than they actually were. The important thing for me there is Tutu survives. He actually walks away from that fight, and Bounty Hunter gets another couple tracks added to his total. He's, I think, done with drums. Have to see if he goes for something like a BKB. I suspect he will, simply like because there's a players. lot of dangerous stuff. I like yeah, I, I would love to see Vlad's eventually. I, I feel maybe BKB first would be better. I'm not sure. I think a Vlad's first is good because he allows you for a quick rush after a good fight there. With Bounty Hunter's yeah, that's true. as well as a Vlad's, you can rush um, pretty much alone. You can tank it alone with one other partner hitting with high damage, with like the OD with the orb. So That's certainly true. Yeah, and so they have the, the dire side rush advantage does help with that as well. Yeah, they could. Um, that, that would give them a little bit more leverage. Kunkka, of course, done with Shadowblade. Uh, looks like to be holding for uh -oh. Chrysalis. Nick Sassin, he's fishing. 
Yeah. Wow, they can do. Oh, Blast Buster checks him out. Split up, lands on him as well. MPL just follows, not taking chances with this one. They will kill yeah. him. So, great Blast Buster heal there. That's a nice kill. Uh, the thing is, Nyx Assassin, you mentioned earlier, this is actually a big deal, this four position Nyx. If he can get very good levels, and if he can get the farm for something like a Blink Dagger, you could see this Nyx Assassin just almost completely save the game for Mineski because when OD can't escape from Nyx reliably, suddenly a big part of your team is just, com the, the core is carved out a little bit. Oh, he's forced to get a BKB and that's not what you he's, want to He will, yeah. 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 It's one of the problems with picking OD too early. You first pick him and you don't ban out the Nyx, you find yourself in a lot of trouble, but Tuzumati, he is looking ripped as farmed. We're going to look at the net worth right now. He's sitting at number two. <laughs> he was a support dude. He's number two. Mm. ZSMJ. He's like, I, I got a mech, guys. A... I'm gonna get a Shadow Blade now. <laughs> I, this is a very heavy Shadow Blade composition. I, you gotta love VG. They, they are completely unashamed of the fact that they play Pub Dota, right? Like the the compositions, the builds, multiple Shadow Blades on top of a Bounty Hunter. Sure, the other team can get detection. We don't give two hoots. Yeah, we don't care at all. And well, that is MJ. He can farm anything he wants. I hear a boat go out here onto the a mistime X master spot. And well, I say Alchemist is a good farmer, but this guy is not even anywhere close to Shadow Blade just yet. Oh, yeah, no, I just I say it, he buys it up. Mm. Um, well, just kidding, guys. But oh, OD in a lot of trouble. He's gonna run away and he's gonna die. Definitely gonna die. Split up as well. 2 2 getting caught out again. Yeah, BG they're throws. gonna try to chase. Oh, Doom goes out here. There's a speed buff here on the, o on the Doombringer. He's running at max speed. He's gonna roll on it. There's a push. OD buys back. There's a black hole. Yes, be very careful here when dealing with this. He wants to go for black hole. Unable to find any opening just there. Great split here from BG. They're running away. Maneski, Enigma could turn around at any moment. Jazz for a big black hole. They do not want to run into any chokes here. If they push him into a corner, and now Nick that gets caught, gets hit by the spike hammer. But this is a good setup. They banish up him. They banish him up. They blow up the Nick assassin. And a stun comes out here from the ultimate. There's another track kill. Enigma, no mana for that. No mana for the black hole. He gets off to the face. He tries to turn around for black hole. He doesn't have that mana. And now Amazing. Uh, the Shadow Blade. That was a huge dive. With their speed buff as well as the tracks, they run really quickly. Uh Jesse Vosh. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's a top, but he, he's managed to kill. Trouble here. No, the torrent missing again. And now he's going to throw out the stun here on the Doombringer. It's not going to mang that much. And FY still running behind enemy lines. He's going to get dusted up. He's going to go for the track. Is he going to run away? Yeah, he will get away. I don't think he can He's going to wrap around. OD, he wants to get another kill. Very greedy here. They're going to dodge it away. And there's going to be a shuriken. Nope. Purge off him. Jazz kills him off. And this is a very extended fight too. He might have over extended. He's welcome, but nice mech. Keeps him alive. Jesse Bosch running for his life here. He's gonna run. Cleave to the head. And wow. Razor. No, no, I mean not Razor, but Alchemist will go and take the ball as well. Enigma comes back in. He wants to go for the black hole. Will he go for the black hole? No black hole. He changes some Eidolons up. CTY. Low in mana, low in HP. FY as well. He's gonna back off now. And Fenrir, he's sitting healthy. <laughs> Yeah, Fenrir did a very good job of sitting on the back lines of play and just sniping people with Shadow Poison and Purge. That was very good play from the Shadow Demon. But honestly, Lysander, to me that fight is completely about Outworld Devourer. I feel that 2-2 executed incredibly cleanly and well. He in fact completely saved his team because the combination... So Enigma right now, in terms of intelligence, is in the uh, region where he's more than the intelligence threshold away from OD, but less than he has less intelligence than OD. Yeah. So the Astral Imprisonment and Sandy's Eclipse combo brought Enigma to such low mana that he couldn't get the big black hole. If that Astral Imprisonment hadn't happened, you actually see Enigma black holing 4 there, and they probably lose the fight. But instead it was just tight coordinated play from 2-2 and that actually saved them there and let them continue pursuing. And still that, that really great delta split early on, preventing the early black hole. He was just trying yeah. for opportunities. I could see he laid down the, he laid down the Midnight Pulse and everything else. And it's another thing uh, which I disagree with Jay's build here. Going for level 2 black hole is something I disagree with fully. And FY, the mega troll here, but he gets killed. So, at least they have, a gem. They have a gem, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yes, on G. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing is, black hole, level 2. What does it give you? It gives you more damage. Yeah, it's cool. But you have a lot of follow-up already. You don't really need it. 10 seconds on the cooldown duration. I don't know what Ice Frog's thinking when he does this. It's not even worth the mana cost increase. I'll just stick at level 1 Black Hole till level 16, to be honest. 20 seconds on yeah, the, the extra difficulty... duration is not really dead. You. Oh, he you know. has Blink. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a fight, I think. Yeah, <laughs> out here. And a Doom goes out on the Shrek. 
not so sure what that heal was for, but they're gonna do the strike so you can throw out stuns. Uh, but I'm not so sure that was the best too ever. But if they could kill Killing Lesh would have been great because, of course, he has that gem. But if he walks away from the fight, yeah, I agree. Um, I agree with you about Enigma. The thing is, he has Blink and Mechanism, and in almost every single fight, he's going to have at least one Astro Imprisonment, reducing his mana. So, finding the mana to actually use all of his spells besides Black Hole is going to be very difficult. So, I completely agree with you there. We do see uh, FY building towards BKB. I think as VG start to stack up these BKBs eventually, they'll become very, very mighty as a team. I mean, Tutu, I guess he's not going to go that until after the Scythe of Ice, but he will make a BKB sooner or later. A Doom is making his BKB. After maybe Daedalus, CTY will build his, and then what do you do as Mineski? I mean, you pray for a black hole, basically. Yeah, you, you, you pray for a black hole, but right now, can you get a black hole? It really looks grim. Even if they get... And the worst part about this, if you fall behind, a black hole is not going to be enough. They have AOE damage. Yes, they do. But if it's a BKB lineup, the, the follow-up is not going to be there. You grab them for a while, the Alchemist will be able to lay down some chops, but... He's sitting at a Shadow Blade and 2k gold. He doesn't really have yeah. a lot. His net worth is 8,000 because of Grievous Greed. That's the only reason why he's up there. ZSMJ on the number 4 Doom has more gold than him. Kunkka yeah. has, more, uh, has a lot of gold. This guy has been last hitting really well. Yeah, CTY has been insane on farming this game. Like, really, really remarkable. When you consider the fact, especially this, that VG, it's not like they're playing a passive farming game. They've dived past the tier 2 mid multiple times, and yet CTY is finding a tremendous amount of farm on this Kunkka. It's easy now, of course, now that he has Shadow Blade Chrysalis, because he can clear a wave super quick, but still very, very impressive. And I feel like Joven maybe had initially intended to go the Battle Fury Alchemist, but then when he realized just how much pressure VG were going to put out in this sort of early mid game transition, he segued into this Shadow Blade that then came somewhat late. And his farm just, yeah, as you pointed out, it hasn't really been all that great. Yeah, and I, I really don't like this one too, too. Especially now that he has the Aegis, it's even more reason not to go for this ultimate off first over the Mystic Staff. He did it in the previous game and it cost him the game because his ultimate just didn't do enough damage. Now if you pick up the Mystic Staff, I've hopped on this a lot of times. If you pick up that Mystic Staff early, you drop a Sanity's Eclipse, you clear the entire team, there will be no second chance for them. And besides, you have the Aegis of Immortal, you don't really have to fear death um, that much. Well, that was... He did get the orb before they knew that they would secure Rush, so that's, that's the only thing. But I agree with you. I, I always um, always believe in um, full YOLO because OD, OD that 10 extra strength, 130 HP, if you get caught out, usually you die. So I, I rarely see times where it does make a difference that Enigma runs Ooh, all the Jay, way. Oh, Jay, the wraparound. He wants to get the black hole from behind, but just the positioning is not there at all. Tutu might be diving a little bit too far here. I think oh, it's okay. Oh, Vidov got to land on him as well. They will get the track. I think this Slash just did. Heck, yep, he is so dead. <laughs> they dumped so many it. spells. <laughs> yeah, Enigma is just gonna laugh at this tower. He will break it as well. He might. No, nope. backdoor regen kicks right in. And they will get the deny off. So. Ah, uh, he almost got it. So close. Jay has been making plays all day. Except for that time when he went for Dagon 5 on Puck. He went Dagon 5 on Puck? Yep. I say that was That's a throw, he pulled a, he, he pulled a little bit of a demon there. He could have went for Hex, he went for Dagon 5, and right. VG got all well, the BKB, so he just We've got 8,300 gold lying around, why not? <laughs> and he's fizzed out. Oh, Enigma is gonna sit in there, look at his cheeky play. He is just sitting there, I am not getting caught whatsoever, you don't have plasma feel. So I am not gonna be spotted. Unless the ship hits him, you know? That's gonna be very unfortunate. Oh, this could be big. Yeah, I... Just VG, oh, they have... Oh, just, oh there God. you go! Blink! Black hole! Black hole! Yes, it's gonna catch two of them! 2-2 two, two will go down! DTY gets caught in there as well, but instant disruption here by the, on the black hole. But there is a huge fight. Look at all the heroes dropping now. Elkman plus TKB. Surprise, they say. Vanguard, I mean, no. He's bringing them down, but he's dropping very low here. The Alchemist, he's revived that one. What a banish here from 2 2. Dodging that stun. FY, he's trying to do his best, but no. Nick Stassen, now is his turn to run. He will run. Jinata crits to the face, and he will die. Then Asia saved the life there. Jay tried his best. He will go. Blink Melfist, he's not done just yet. He drops the Midnight Pulse. Throws the stun on 2 2 as well. He will not get the. 
He will not get the reaction time to save his life. He will die. And now FY dropping very low there. Level death as well. And Shadow Blade. And now Enigma faced up against an FY as well as a Tomb Raider. He will stun him out. And now I think ZSMJ might actually go down. J big plays. Is he gonna get it? No. Quick balling here for ZSMJ as well ground. as Scorched Earth. They will get it. And FY gets himself another track kill. Alchemist wants to buy back. And here we go. Stun up here. On ZSMJ, are they gonna get him though? Yeah, they will. They have the gem on the strike now. The Power Snowball. They will try to catch him, but all the other runs just so quickly. They're lightning, not even able to reach them. And will they go throw it out? Will they be able to throw it out? No, they will. They throw it out. The Plasma Fee will tag him at the end of that. So that was a huge overdive, but a huge, huge black hole. Instant, instant cancel by the, the SD on the disruption, but still, it was a good fight. Lysander, have, have all the games been like this? Because this is amazing. I just... So many incredibly aggressive... I, I, the only word I can find is aggressive decisions. Like, diving so hard. Staying in engagements maybe longer than would be advisable by any sane, rational human being, but it's definitely fun to watch. What a boat by CTY, by the way. Just taking apart that Nyx Assassin. That was just pure... I mean, he's had trouble, as you mentioned, coordinating the X torrent boat combo, but he got it perfectly there on Nyx. And that's them recognizing that this Nyx is actually pretty important to the flow of the game. Ugh, that fight, I mean, if actually if VG don't have the Aegis that fight, they just get completely demolished. It was only because the OD's second life was fairly long that they managed to salvage anything from that fight at all. But even then, Doom and Bounty Hunter staying in for so long without actually stealing the gem. They gave the gem back to Lashrak. They Those deaths were definitely unnecessary. Other than that, I actually think VG walks away from that fight feeling okay. The the BKB is done on Doombringer. I expect CTY to eventually make one as well, and that'll be useful. Yeah, and you asked if the rules games have been like this. No, VG actually have been... No, well, free, it was just pure Chinese rising beating Pinoy Dota aggression. But second game, they threw. They should have won that, I feel. If they had pushed Tick Towers, Tick Roshan at the right times instead of sitting on their butts, they are, the Knife Stealer would have never reached that kind of farm. He trolls, but it's like a different kind of troll, you know? Not the demon type, but <laughs> there's more of the don't do anything until you lose. Yeah. The, the Mineski. When they take a fight like that, even if they, let's say they trade, they're just getting so much more out of it than Mineski are. So Mineski have to either convincingly win fights or avoid fights. Because this alchemist still is almost a non-factor, like he's just not doing that much. Yep. The, the thing is, well, I don't know, say they're praying for black holes now. They're pretty much playing, praying for black holes and they needed one more, just like that previous one. Maybe win a couple more, let Alchemist get up to that insane amount of farm because Alchemist is fat. Well, that's a Doombringer to take him out. That's the problem well against Doombringer. Yeah, I mean, their Razor has... Such a baller. Oh, he gets <laughs> doomed. He's doomed. Uh... Yeah, he's dead. He doesn't have buyback either. This is actually pretty bad. Mineski can't basically do anything while this... Will die as well. Split up. Is that split up? Plasma field. And now they drop the thunderstorm. And here comes the boat. They might actually get a stun here. They will land a stun onto the And now Maneski, they get a bone throw into that here. Lost, nice. That's yeah. two heroes dead for the Enigma. Enigma says, YOLO, I bring back to- What VG went for here? I, I want to see a hundred kill game. So I wanted to stretch out a little bit. Did you, the Maneski versus Orange game, Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I do think, though, that these extra BKBs will help VG a lot, and I think that's going to be their cue to maybe start pressuring up to the high ground. And actually, Mineski, they could spot out ZSMJ and Tutu here. Oa's gonna come in, he's still in Vendetta form, he's gonna try to get the melee before he actually hits ZSMJ. He just waits for his team, very smart. There's the Impale, there's the Mana Burn. J with the Malefice, easy kill on the Doombringer. He actually buys back, so VG are gonna seek to fight. There's Tutu with the Astro Imprisonment. He doesn't want to come in earlier than his team, though. G, he wow, will drop incredibly shots. quickly. Yeah, that was... And they got the gem, I think. So they're going to keep chasing, try to catch Enigma if they can. ZSMJ in Shadowblade. He can use Doom. Will he Doom? Uh, no, just to banish. Nah, they're good. They don't need it. I don't think the ultimate was necessary there. The Eclipse? Yeah, yeah I don't know. Too, too. I think they felt they either needed Eclipse or Doom, although they, I guess you're right, they probably didn't need either. Did they just orb him down? 
they, the anima, Enigma, he has Tranquil Boots, he, he cannot escape them out of that. Oh yeah, maybe he was fearing the blink out of the, the um, banish. Yeah, oh, that's quite possible. Yeah. That's that's probably what it was. And that'll be almost... Actually, after this Roche kill, v, Tutu will have his BKB. Uh, ZSMJ has his, Bounty Hunter of course has his, and Kunkka, all he needs is maybe a, a, cre a creep cap or two and the Roche money, and he'll have his BKB. And these are a much bigger deal to me than the fact that Jesse Vosh finished his Black King bar. I just... I don't know. VG, any, any game with 45 kills is going to favor the team with the Bounty Hunter unless they only have three of those kills. If you look at net worth, just look at this extremely dense clump of VG, and then poor Fenrir, of course. <laughs> okay, <I'm... laughs> He's the 99% here. Yeah, just just go on talking for the guys in Dota, Dota TV if you did turn All right, on. is there still uh, the yeah, streamers? Yeah, there's still on. There's still and ZSMJ, FY, and Tutu, the only three people left alive after this fight. A buyback coming out from Joven, but can he defend solo? I'm not sure he can. Do they even have any other buybacks? No, there are no buybacks remaining for Mineski, and VG barreling down the front door. ZSMJ using the Scorched Earth with some regen. Tutu jumps in, four staffs, arcane imprisons, the alchemist, alchemist forest with back. And here goes the tier three. FY, Tutu, and ZSMJ beating down the nice fortified they're actually forced out. There's the unstable concoction. They actually stun FY, and he's going to get brought oh, down. Get no, nice away. defensive. Yeah, but he's going to die anyway. Yeah, he's and, still dead. <laughs> yeah, I I have a feeling that people might have missed that big black hole in the middle lane, but that is a shame. Uh, but yeah, expert side to crash, and well, we're back now, and because of the delay, I'm not so sure how to judge whether the stream is offline. Because sometimes right. when you drop a little bit too many expert, it does just kick you out. So. Hopefully the the stream doesn't miss too much. I, I had my camera on the most of it, hopefully. Right. Yeah. So the chat is actually calling for VG not to troll that hard there. No, they didn't. Yeah, they, they didn't. They had a great fight there. They lost Bounty Hunter. And I think they were just watching just before the part where VG had a lot of heroes picked off there in the middle of the, in the in the jungle. But yeah. I, I think I think they will hopefully they will miss the game. But it should well, be they almost... a, it should be up in a while. All right, fair enough. So they almost brought down the tier three tower. Not quite. That was actually pretty good defensive positioning from Joven. And then, of course, a very well-timed fortification. So VG not able to high ground just yet. That was a favorable fight for them. Again, these chaotic high kill fights are always great for the team that has the Bounty Hunter. Speaking of Bounty Hunter, I know you were really pulling for the Vlad's Lysander, but it's a full butterfly. It is a full butterfly for Bounty Hunter. And Carry bounty. The, the pub builds continue unabated, and I love it. Yeah, VG, pub team, who would have thought? <laughs> Wait till Yafetz joins them. That guy, he goes for <laughs> Omelet, Mask of Madness, Medusa, man, that guy. <laughs> sure. Uh, and VG, they're gonna wrap around gank. They've got a cool smoke gank coming in here. And this could be trouble for... I mean, Mineski, I think they realize the urgency of their position. They should wait 20 seconds for Black Hole. And nope, they're just gonna kill FY first. No problem, though. They're gonna kill him. He waits his DKB if he's not careful. Wow, diving, diving, diving. Pinoy Dota, dive, dive, dive. You get blown up by the OD. OD BKB's up. There is no Black Hole. This is what I was saying. Wait for it first. But no, they don't. They dive right on in. CTY will take it off to the base. They lose two core heroes. And is one other guy in the base dead? <laughs> what are you doing? He's still chasing Bounty on her. What are you doing, Philippines? And Radiance Korea dies. Insult to injury. And big shout out to Deza, Miss Marina, as well as Kong Gurgo or Han Gurgo. Or something like that. I can't read that Chinese word. I'm so bad at Chinese reading right now. There's but, the plaids. Yeah. Blads, finally. I mean, casual. 36 <laughs> casual Blads. But oh man. man, look at the net worth. Four heroes way above the Alchemist, and only the Shadow Demon, the the guy that's been dying for the team, Fenrir. Yeah. He's the only guy that is actually having a lower net worth than some of the heroes, and even then, he's not the lowest. Yeah. After that fight, he's now not the lowest anymore, which is great. He was before. What a, that fight could not have gone any worse for Mineski, and they got completely and utterly baited by FY's Bounty Hunter. I mean, he had buyback, so he could have come back even if he died. He didn't even die, though, and oh, uh, oh man, he got drops quickly. Yeah, this feels very over here, but no, they are gonna go for the last fight. Will they get a final black hole? No, because all the BKBs just prevent this kind of nonsense, and 2-2 two -two will be clearing face, and he is just gonna go for one more last blast. He's going for refresh orb as well, okay, now. FY. <laughs> so he has butterfly, he can dive from They're gonna leave gems yeah, sure. lying around. Lots of gems lying around. Yeah, the gem war is over. I think VG are just going to decapitate Mineski's base here. Yeah. 
Mineski had Mineski, a good fight. They hung on to that gem for a, a long time. That was a good job by them, but just got... They, they knew they were under pressure after that tier 3 push, so they felt they had to push. But the push just went catastrophically. The wraparound gank from VG, combined with FY baiting Mineski into range of the tower, it was just, it was nearly perfect play from VG and just getting a little too flustered by Mineski. Yep, and... Well, Refresher! <laughs> yes! Yeah, not necessary, but he's gonna do it just for the crowd points. <laughs> Owa's gonna make a run for it. He's not gonna get past the sentries. It's not getting past... It's... Yeah, he will. Oh... Yeah, he's gonna test if the creeps can see him. Nope, they're gonna go for the last fight here, and again, he stuns himself. This guy, this alchemist, is not having good times. And I think he's waiting for the double ulti. Here he comes, 2-2. Two -two. Here we go, He's but it might not be enough heroes to drop the ultimates on. He's gonna go refresh it, and he hits the floor. <laughs> uh, not the well, epic finale he was waiting for. The, His team has cleared. He has cleared. Yeah. The, oh, the black hole! All five of them caught in it. What a black hole, guys. Only him. This guy, he gets some points, I guess. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> they GG after the black hole. I agree with this move. Well, GG, lots of fun. You know, I do the best Dota, lots of aggression. Well, no, Korean Dota is the best, but you know, I do the very close second. So, do you know, fans uh, are quite sad uh, for you guys. But yeah. then, VG Gaming, they just seem to have woken up, you know? They were, they were okay in game one, game two, they didn't know what they were doing, they got picked off, and in game three, they just came back and smashed in true spectacular fashion. That is, that gonna die. Feeding a OG and TTY is he gonna feed as well? He will feed. Yep, he's gonna feed. Feed. Wow, is there gonna be an ultra kill here for the Razor? No. No. Oh, doesn't get the last whip off. Otherwise, he could have gotten another one. But no, here comes Tutu. He's gonna clear the house again once again. The stun flies on FY. And BKB on the Alchemist. No, Alchemist is BKB. He doesn't want to use it. Tutu gets a double kill. And there goes the throne. So 26 to 48, guys. That game was amazing. And Bounty Hunter, you just do not simply lose against him early game. Because you cannot come yeah. back from that. Uh, well, it's very hard to. I, I wouldn't say he's not possible, but it's very difficult to. And, well, Maneski will be dropping this game. And I see a lot of Pinoy fans actually very, very, very sad. But no problem, guys. We will Olad it for you guys. It's <laughs> A-OK. -okay. Maneski will come back again. Uh, Pinoy Dota. Maneski is a very promising team. Took out Orange one game, I think. Took out one game of, from Orange the other day. And it was in very convincing fashion as well. So Maneski won't count them out. They lose to VG this time around. I'm happy for VG to see them out of the slump at last. It's still a shaky victory, but still, the third game was very convincing. 20 kills on OD, wow. Yeah, definitely. I think this is the first GST The Challenge in which not neither of the Southeast Asian teams were able to advance to the finals. Because it will be it will be China versus China. Oh yeah, but I would give Rattlesnake. You want to make some predictions? Who? Uh, I say two hmm. Rattlesnake. Uh you don't think VG can take one off off Rattlesnake? Because Rattlesnake aren't are the sort of team that can randomly lose games too. I think two one Rattlesnake. But I I I, I could see VG winning two one as well. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll see if that does happen. Grand finals will be coming up soon. Uh, VG Gaming versus Rattlesnakes in the best of three for about 1,000 bucks, 1,005. Not so sure, but this is the GSD challenge. Uh, a big shout out to our sponsors, Western Digital, Corsair, Gigabyte, as well as, what's the last guy? I keep forgetting. AMD, yes, AMD. So a big shout out to those guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next game. If you like my casting, follow me on twitch.tv slash Lysandersonora. Follow me at Twitter and like me on Facebook. Sorry for the technical problems, guys. I will reset the stream after this so as to not have any problems with the Grand Finals. Hopefully, I do not lag anymore. And yeah, I've been casting with Vikamon, so you want to plug yourself? Sure. Uh, people can check me out. V-Y-K-R-O-M-O-N-D. Uh, you could just Google and whatever you come up with will be good. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, website, all that good stuff. Thanks, Lysander. See you in the Grand Final. All right, guys. Stand screen for you guys. want to see it, and I'll see you guys next game.